Hey, this is Chris from Guitarist Magazine. It's Lee from Andersons. And we're here at NAMM 2015 with Mike Lewis, who's going to talk all about Fender's Custom Shop Guitars for 2015. How are you doing? We're really good, thank you. Okay, so in the Custom Shop, in addition to all the one-offs and the custom guitars that we do, every year we come out with what we call our annual collection. It's available for that year only. And the whole idea is to show people what we can do some of our new capabilities, new ideas, new colors, new woods, new hardware, new pickups and things like that. So this year we have a full complement of, of guitars from modern styling to vintage styling and everything in between. So we'll start over here with what we have called the Artisan Series. Shall I hand them over? Sure. Oh. This year's Artisan Series is um, we return to what we call Fender Purity of Design. So they're kind of like 50s style guitars. However, we use exotic woods. These year, this year we're using Okume bodies, very lightweight, very toneful woods, nice and warm sounding. It's a, it's a part of the mahogany family. And the next are 5A grade bird's eye maple that's been roasted. It's not stained, it's actually cooked to be this color. And it also helps the sound, a little bit warmer tone. With vintage pickups, it sounds awesome together. That's stunning, isn't it? A one, yeah. piece, one piece uh, neck and fretboard yeah. as well. I think. I know that was there, wasn't it? This one. Also, every year in our collection, we have what we call limited edition. Even though the entire collection is limited for the year, we, we do a series of guitars that are even more limited meaning that we're only going to offer these for the first half of the year. And uh, the second half of the year, we'll have a, another set of limited guitars. So this year, we've got two different things. One is the Tele Caballo Tono, which is Spanish for Tone Horse Tele. Very nice. Yeah. So I guess this is kind of uh, an evolution of the Cabernita kind of vibe. Exactly, an evolution of the Cabernita. It's a little bit more fendery. Uh, we've got the actual Telecaster bridge on here, and this is the RSD bridge which means, uh, stands for Research Special Design. So it's a vintage type bridge. However, we've, we've cut the middle saddle in half, so we have a better intonation opportunity here on these, these two strings. And the shape of it is really nice. It's like the shape of the cover, you know, it's yeah. very cool looking. It's an extremely cool guitar. It's very cool, isn't it? And uh, the other part of the uh, limited edition for 2015 is the 1955 set. Okay, we have a Esquire, a Strat and a P bass, all 1955. Now the Esquire is especially interesting because it comes with a Telecaster conversion kit. Oh, cool! That's what you can see up there. So it allows the user, if he wants to convert his guitar to a Telecaster, uh, of which back in the day there were two pickup Esquires. It was, it's a real thing. So, so they come pre-rated. You just drop it in. And yeah. Work. All you have to do is solder, uh, you know, solder four wires, and you've got yourself a two pickup Esquire. And each model comes in uh, uh, our new blonde finish we call Dirty White Blonde. It's got a little bit of flesh color in it. Uh, it's been very, very popular. And this particular series has relic bodies with uh, heavy relic back necks. So what will be the, I mean, there's quite a difference in the, um, there's no finish on the back of this neck and there's plenty of finish on the back of this one. So it, is the customer still get some choice as to how relics the guitar is or is it just a sort of a... Sure, they can order them any way they want them. Right, so the, so the style is like this but you can have yeah. heavy relic or closet Any color, any, right. anything. Put a Floyd Rose on it if you want. <laughs> even, even as part of the 2015 collection? Sure, the 2015 please, collection. Model please, please don't do that, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, if anybody does put a Floyd Rose please. on one of these things. No, no. Right. <laughs> um, I'll jump out of the way. What have right. we got So then here? we move on to the Time Machine series. Time Machine Series is a really probably one of our most popular things. And uh, why we call it Time Machine is because we have four different finish packages that you can get your guitars in. Uh, one would be NOS, meaning new old stock, as if you bought it new 50 years ago and brought it forward into time. So we have an example of that here. The next level up would be Closet Classics, like you bought the guitar new, took it home, played it a little bit, put it in your closet, maybe kind of forgot about it for a while, and took it out once in a while and it got, a, got some finish checking in it, you know, not too much. And then we move into the Relic, which is like used, heavily used, played, pounded on. Uh, 
exactly. That's fantastic. Go show it? some arm wear, <laughs> some back wear, some weather checking. And nobody does this like we do. Our whole thing is, is authentic, authenticity. We have guys in the shop who study vintage guitars. They go out and see how people play, to see how the wear is made versus if, if you wore it up high, if you wore it low, where would the back wear be and so on and so forth. The same with the necks. How does it happen naturally? So, and it's all, it's all top secret. <laughs> how we do it? So our, our Time Machine series this year is a complete line where we've got Strats and Tullys, both Rosewood and Maple necks, and uh, some bases as well. Let's go over here. That's pretty understated, isn't it? In there, you know, sort <laughs> yeah. of. Um, I'm sure that'll go to some somebody you know that doesn't you know not, not flash or anything like that. So we have 57 Strats, 63 Strats. That's your Rosewood and Maple. We have a, a Rosewood neck Tully, 63 Tully. That color is fantastic. This is ice blue metallic. So cool. Mm. And we have a, a 60 Tully Custom with extremely rare white switch tip. Okay. And a 52 Tully Heavy Relic. And then in bases, we have, we're offering this year in the collection a, a 59 P bass and a 60 Jazz bass. These bases, these are in a new finish that we came up with called the Journeyman Relic. Journeyman stands for the occasional hard worker. Okay? Right. Really, if you look it up on Google, that's what it says. So That's a really nice level of uh, aging. Anybody really who like has seen many actual vintage guitars that have been well taken care of over the years, this is what they look like. Yeah. When I was working on the uh, Fender American Vintage redo a couple years ago, we looked at probably over 20 vintage guitars, and most of them were in this kind of condition. So you still have the finish checking, you still have the oxidization on the hardware. You got a few what we call friendly dings, okay? But no real wear, no real playing wear. Okay, it's like used, but not abused. You, but you've got the wear where you want it, haven't you? Right. Which is, you know. Now these particular ones, we added the heavy relic back neck. Yeah. Because a lot of people really like that. Yeah. So I think that I think that's the that's the dilemma with that people have with with the heavy relic stuff, isn't it? It's it, it, to play. It's the best stuff, uh, but a, a big percentage of customers just can't get their head around this idea that it also is completely warm right. on the body. So, so th this makes sense for that kind of that level. That, mm. that looks fantastic. It's makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, you got to. If you, I mean, relic, relic strat necks are just fantastic. Okay, so then we move on into the uh, more modern era. We have uh, the American Custom. This is a new series for us. Mm -hmm. And this is basically the, the modern Fender, benchmark Fender of today. And where we use modern hardware, modern features, um, beautiful woods, okay? Not everybody wants vintage. Have the so, saddles changed on there? No. This is these. I just noticed that the, 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 the slot in the middle of the saddle just looks longer than I've noticed before. Maybe it's just, nope. no. Fair enough. So the American Custom, you can get them with ash backs, flame tops, or solid alder, okay? The alder ones come in uh, solid finishes. The ash back with the flame tops come in transparent finishes. And what have you done with the, the neck on that? Because more recently, the, the sort of the, the, the custom shop sort of modern series had gone to the, the very um, large sort of neck profiles as opposed to the sort of the C style. So have, the, have these gone back to the C style? These or? are a large C. A large C yeah, still. With big frets. Can I, can I feel the, the sure. strap? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, that's uh, it's certainly not as slim as a, an, like an American standard C shape, but it's, it's not as fat as some of the, the more recent. Uh, right. Nice. This is one of, our, one of our most popular necks. Gets ordered, gets ordered a lot. What do you call that? A fat C? Large C. A large C. We also like a, have a super like a large size. C. <laughs> All right, now the, the last thing I want to show you is the, another new series, <coughs> another new series called Postmodern. Right. Postmodern, okay, this is like, the sky's the limit, okay? We're not bound by any kind of tradition, however, we're very reverent to it, okay? And, you know, so over the last 60 years, Fender has 
uh, introduced many what we call fender firsts. Okay, like the contour body was a first, and the synchronized tremolo was a first, and the six in line headstock was a first, and all these things. So what we've done is we've taken some of these classic fender firsts and combined them together. We picked ones we felt worked best in one single instrument. Okay, so the postmoderns, this in, the, in their first year are available in the the. Um, Journeyman Relic. Yeah. So this is Journeyman Relic all over. Just like we talked about over there. Yeah, I've seen the first obvious one just when you flipped it over. Okay. And it's also available in NOS. So what we've done with this, for example, the Strat, you've got the very popular extreme oh, right. yeah. contours here, like you would find on a 57 Strat. Yeah. Okay. But it has 60s style pick guard and routing inside, so you can have all 11 holes. Okay. You have hand wound pickups, fat 60s hand wounds. This has the tone saver circuit, so that when you turn your volume down, the tone doesn't change at all. It's exactly the same sound except lower volume. It's unlike a regular treble bleed that you it artificially will like take bass away and add highs. Sounds kind of fake. Well, this is really really natural. If you want, I can show you over here. The necks have the uh, 60 C shape, a little bit more comfortable yeah. than the large C. Yeah. And I like the, obviously a very modern feature, isn't it, with the sort of the right. recessed heel. Right, and it's hardly even noticeable until mm. you put your hand up there. Start playing in the G position up there and it fits right in your palm. It'd be nice to get some footage of Mike playing. Yeah. If, if you're if you're cool to do a bit at the end or something and we'll chop it in. Other features are strap locks, staggered tuners, no string tree needed. Oh wow, yeah look, vintage staggered tuners. Yeah. That's kind of a cool. Tellies have similar features. Uh, I, I love this one. Also so all the fingerboards are round lamb. Even the maple, okay. round lamb fingerboard. Telly with hand wound Texas telly I mean excuse me, hand wound twisted telly pickups. Twisted telly neck pickup is like a strat sound, okay? And then we have the postmodern bass, which was like last night at the sale was a huge hit. It's basically a P bass with a jazz bass neck. That's why it says jazz bass, right? It's got the RSD bridge. This also has the RSD bridge, which loads from the back or the top. It's got the 63 hand wound uh, P bass pickup that's dipped in shellac, so it's really lively sounding, okay? Stealth A string retainer here, because you know how the A string on a P bass sometimes can you know do its thing. Modern open back tuners with vintage buttons. <coughs> it's got the classic vibe, classic look, except it's got all the player centric features that bass players like. I'm just gonna, I'm just and that's our collection little, for 2015. I'm just going to pop this little thing back on here before these people lose their guitar. Um, yeah, so can you, can, you, can you just strum something for a second? Yeah, I can show you the Poblano pickups while we do it. Awesome. When I first saw this, I just thought oh, it just looks like some sort of take on a like a, a little blues junior or something like that. But it's um, completely different panel, isn't it? This is based on the '57 Tweed Deluxe, yeah. right? Oh, oh so that's cool. cool. But we have new Fender caps. Is it going to come like this, or is this no, just no, for the no, right? No. So this is just for the show. See the caps there? Those are replicas of the '50s Astron caps. Yeah. Been working on those for about a year and a half. Uh, they sound really, really good. Mm. And then we see we're using a new old stock Allen Bradley resistors in there. This amp has a blue Almaco Celestion. This one has a gold Almaco Celestion. Please, please put those into production. <laughs> and uh, these were custom built for the show, up to five, quantity of each, and we sold them all already. Yeah. It's a modified Fender 5E3 circuit, which is the Tweed Deluxe, and we've uh, we've tweaked it out so that you can turn it up and it doesn't sort of flub out on you. Thank <laughs> you. 